It is Monday. It is December the 7th. It is a couple of my good friends' birthdays, and it is the, just got through with the last class meeting of my um, physics majors class. Uh, we had a good conversation about, you know, how the pandemic has affected them, and I told them, you know, I'm sorry that we didn't get to meet in person, and maybe someday we will, and um you know, it was, I mean, it, it's always sad seeing a semester end. I get attached to my students, but um, this semester has been particularly hard because I don't feel like, you know, we had the chance to get to know each other like we should have. Um, but at any rate, we are done with that class for the semester, and I um, have some finish up grading I need to do, and um I also need to go run a little errand in town today. Uh, I need to pick up protein tubs for my cattle. Um, I try to give them protein tubs throughout the year or throughout the winter to kind of give them a little extra boost. Um, right now, I am working on my hoarfrost cowl. This is a pattern by Maria uh, from Ninja Chickens. And um, I decided I'd put a couple rounds on it this morning. While I was sitting in class, we talked about their hobbies and the things that they've learned about themselves during the pandemic. And I was explaining to them that my knitting is kind of like my fidget spinner. It is a way that I pay attention during meetings or during talks or whatever. It's not that I'm being rude. It's that this is how I keep my attention focused on whatever's going on. It keeps my hands busy and I'm not doodling all over my agenda or um you know whatever that I would normally be doing were I um um not knitting so hopefully they understand that we talked about that a little bit and they talked about some of their hobbies that they picked up this year and um you know things like that uh so that was good so I'm gonna finish up this round I'm pretty close to the end of the round uh I'm on round let's see what am I finishing up 15 Round 15 of 60, so I haven't worked on this very much. It's about, it's 300 and something stitches, I think, around 308, I want to say. Maybe I'm making that number up, but it's a lot. It's a long way around. <laughs> uh, so I'm finishing up my um, round on this, and then I'm going to change uh, clothes or put on my blue jeans. I've got on yoga pants right now because that is the, that is the, outfit that I've been wearing uh, is comfortable. Um, put on my blue jeans and we'll head to town and get some protein tubs for the cattle and we'll get on with our day. So uh, yeah, hopefully you'll enjoy this day of Vlogmas. Well, you're being a lovey-dovey boy this morning. Huh? You're being a lovey-dovey. Mm. Only for a little bit though. I've had enough. Yeah, you've had enough. Okay. Okay, I'm headed to the co-op to get protein tubs for my cattle and take my recycling off. But right now I'm watching this truck that's parked over at my gate. Seeing who this is. I think he's just getting out and checking something in his truck. But I'm going to wait till he drives by and see who he is. But, uh, yeah, protein tubs are good for him. Um... When the weather gets bad, it gives them a little extra boost. Um, oh yeah, it was the water company truck. I guess he was just getting out and checking something in the back of his truck. But um, they're give them a little extra boost when it gets really cold and it's just something that kind of helps supplement their hay. It's usually a 100 to 200 pound tub uh, mixed with usually some kind of binder material, molasses or something like that and um, gives them a little extra boost in the winter time uh, when the weather gets down. You can also get them for horses, um, although the licks for the horses are less about protein uh, because they 
you don't want to give a horse too much protein because then you start having feed issues. But anyway, so I am headed to go get those. Um, and it sounds like something's hanging out of my truck over there. I guess I better stop and see what that is. Had a strap hanging out of my truck where I had put some stuff in on that side. So, uh, yeah, so we'll go get some protein tubs um, and some rabbit feed. I've got enough feed to do me for everybody else through next week until into next week. Um, yeah, so it's a beautiful day here. It's a little bit warmer. It's supposed to get warmer through Thursday of this week and then start getting colder and rainy again. So my goal, I hope, maybe tomorrow I can block those two shawls because uh, I'll be here all day. Uh, right now, Marianne doesn't want anybody at the barn until they get the water leak sorted out. So I'm gonna respect that and not go over there. Um, I'll be bringing my horses home after this week uh, for a little while, let them have a little bit of a break um, at home. I like to do that for them this time of year. Uh, and because the weather gets bad and uh, so I want them to be home where I can keep an eye on them myself. So I like doing that this time of year. But anyway, so I am headed to the co-op at Moralton. You know those beautiful videos that you'll see on social media sometimes of the Nordic women calling up their cattle with these beautiful songs and it's called clooning. That is not what I'm about to do, <laughs> but you get the idea. Come on! 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 coming. <laughs> I'm putting protein tubs. I'm trying a new kind. Um, they're about 200 pounds, um, which is why I'm dragging them off the back of the truck. Uh, but they've got a high fat in this ration, so I hopefully that'll be better for the cows. So that's what they look like. <laughs> well, the chores are done outside. Hi, Sadie. Hi, Sadie. The chores are done outside, and uh, ears and uh, I found the Christmas tree stand that I wanted to use for the live tree so that's a bonus um, I got the wagon of farm stuff moved out of the living room and put up which is a major victory ears Shh. now I just need to find some lights to put on my tree I think I've got a couple of strands in the spare bedroom that I bought at an auction I just need to track them down uh, I know I've got lights out in the garage, but they're in the very back part of where the Christmas stuff is, and I really don't feel like dragging everything out. Um, but lights, to me, are really what make the Christmas tree. <laughs> Hi, Peachy. So, I want to make sure and put some on it. Hi, Peachy. So, got that done. Um, I need to work on a little bit more grading this afternoon. Um, we've got senior lab presentations tomorrow, so... 
uh, that'll take up part of the afternoon. Um, but yeah, moving along, got, got those mineral tubs out, got hay out for the cattle, got everybody fed and watered here. And the dogs are out right now enjoying the sunshine. It's a beautiful day. It's fairly warm here. So if it's this warm tomorrow, I'll go ahead and block those shawls. Yay. Uh, but anyway, so um, I guess I'm gonna head in and look for those lights. Okay, well, it's uh, about six o'clock. Um, I just mostly piffled around looking for my uh, handmade ornaments from last year. I'm gonna make a few more this year. Um, I found in my stuff some green felt and then I have an empty uh, paper towel roll here. So I'm gonna try to make up one of those little drums. See if I can do it. I don't have any white felt, but I thought maybe I could just use white, uh, thin white cardboard or something like that. I found a string of lights, found my, my tree stand. So now it's just getting everything glued up and then finding time to go out and cut a tree this week. Well, I got the wings glued on my angels tonight and the halos and then I finished my little drums. So these were just a paper towel roll and I put some red or some green felt around them wrapped it with some red yarn, and then cut out some white cardboard. My tops are kind of rough. Cut out some white cardboard that I had from a package and glued some uh, matchsticks that I cut the heads off of, um, heads off of for uh, the, the sticks. So I made six of those. They're just little simple drums, nothing fancy, but I thought they were kind of cute and they reminded me of the ones that I made when I was in kindergarten. So now I gotta get all the glue string off of them. Yay! I'm trying to knit and you're sitting in my lap. Are you happy? He's a good boy. Working on my hat. Well, I finished my ornaments up and I'm working on my hat now and I'm on Zoom with some of my friends. So I think that's where I'm going to call it a night. Sweet baby. Yeah. So we'll see y'all tomorrow. Yeah. Peace out, y'all. Bye. It is to ride in the one horse open sleigh. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way.